What's going on everybody? Thank you for joining Shooting Gallery in New England today. We got a special video for you. We're gonna be going over this Savior Equipment Dual Pistol Bag. Let's get down to the tabletop and check it out. So we are back at the tabletop. Thank you guys for joining. Make sure you are subscribing and you are hitting the like button, smash the notification bell. Let's get this channel to a thousand subscribers. Please just go in the lower right hand corner of your screen, hit that subscribe button if you like the content you were seeing today. So, I literally have been so excited to make this video. It is one of my favorite bags I've been using going to the range. I'm trying to get a little bit more organized when I go to the range and I was able to grab this when I went to uh, this past Fall, this past fall, sorry, this past spring at Iraq Veteran 8888 Range Day. Uh, we uh, got a chance to try out some of their bags. I actually talked to one of the owners of Savior Equipment. They are a wonderful company. They make a ton of great products. I'm hoping to pick up one of their rifle bags eventually and then, you know, switch away from my field and stream. That's really kind of just... It, it's okay, but it's not the best material. I've noticed anything from Field of the Stream just kind of, you know, sucks. But that's just my one YouTuber's opinion. Don't take that for gospel. So, your Savior Equipment Pistol Bag, this one fits two pistols. Uh, it, doesn't matter. it doesn't mean you can't fit more, which we'll go over here. Obviously, you have the Velcro on top, so if you want to throw your cool patches or something like that, or, um, like kind of designating, hey, what's in this bag? You can get like kind of, not dope cards, but get something where you know what's in the bag if you have a couple couple of these bags. Great quality, the zippers are amazing. They're not like that cheap Amazon zipper. You're gonna actually get, you know, good quality in these bags. You get a very subtle save your equipment tag. Um, I do actually like their logo, it's pretty sweet. Uh, I wouldn't say this is like a felt or like a vinyl, but it's a different material than the actual bag. I'm not gonna go into specs of what it's actually made of because it's a pistol bag. I mean, unless this is made out of like lamb's wool or like alligator hide, it you know some type of cloth, cotton, cotton material. As I'm talking, so your front pocket, you actually have a lot more of space in here where if you really want to you can fit some you know tools extra magazines you could probably fit a third pistol in here if you have like a smaller pistol case to throw inside but you have the ability to um i would say these probably fit most of your you got you know pencil pouches and then you know if you want to put medical snacks tactical rain sacks are a thing as my phone is blowing the hell up so the good thing is, guys, these are very affordable. I, I don't know what they're going for at the going rate right now, but I'll throw some type of indicator on the screen where you can get them for. Uh, so let's get into the bag. So you get a second pocket. You get the nice, really good quality handles. These aren't like just regular pieces of fabric. It almost feels like there's like a foam insert in them. So when you open it up, you get this. Now. You get two sides, two zippered uh, compartments where you can actually put more than a pistol. Uh, you get one, two, three, four, five, six magazine pouches. Uh, I had these outfitted, I was at the range the other day, but I kind of set this up just so you can see how you can get these bags set up. So I have two 1911 mags. If you got the regular base plate ones, it's gonna flop around a little bit, but you're not doing gymnastics with this. It's to hold your pistol mags. I, I left them right on the range table that we were at. So I was like, okay, is this gonna be moving around? They weren't sliding out, which is good. Then if you wanna get like, you know, kind of thicker style mags. Then I got some Glock mags in here. They fit like a glove, which I like. They're not gonna be moving around. Uh, if you wanna just do all Glock mags, you can, but you have the difference of a Glock mag, 1911, and sorry, my phone is just blowing the hell up right now. But, Let's get into it. So, first pocket on this side, and these are deep pockets, guys. They're in there, padded on the inside, so they're not gonna damage or finish. This, and these guns have been safety checked, but just for all y'all, nothing in here. We have my M&P full size 1.0. This project is coming back, guys, so please stay tuned. I'm gonna leave a card up here, up in your lower right, uh, upper right or upper left, wherever that card decides to end up. Uh, but we are still gonna be building a great range gun or carry gun off this really sweet deal of a M&P. Yes, it does have the stupid safety. But anyway, 
just for curiosity, this is the MP mag. Slips right, right in there like it was made for it. Uh, it's not that complex, but the good thing in here is the quality. They're really affordable, and I said, like I said, you could probably fit a third pistol in the front pocket. But now we're gonna go in the other bag, which you would think, okay, all these magazines, is it gonna puncture, puncture through the fabric? The fabric they use on this is much better quality than some, so it's not gonna puncture through. And it's not gonna wear out. I've been using it for the past like two months, so it's not like I have it for years and can fully vouch for it. But here, we have my full size. Ooh, look at that. And it is clear. This, guys, I've been, sh I've, I've been shooting this a lot more. I'm really getting into 1911s, but, well, not getting into. I've been into 1911s, but <sighs> every time I go to the range, this bad boy comes with me. This is my stainless steel Ruger SR 1911 full-size government. Uh, hopefully, I'm, I'd like to upgrade the safety. I'm really into anti-safeties lately, and the grips are good, but I'd like to maybe get some BZ grips. And the hashtag not a sponsor, but, you know, hey. We'll have to get easy grips on the podcast but so you can fit a full-size government in there uh so weight it can depend on what guns you have in there plus that front pocket that we used that we checked out before probably fit some ammo or something like that in here as well so guys please check out save your equipment they got a lot of great stuff not just bags they got like pistol rests i believe they have rifle rests as well for the range uh, so they're not all sitting on like, you know, a table, getting hot in the sun, you know, they're cloth padded. Uh, if I ever decide to, I'll pick one of those up too and get a video out on them. But this is the Save Your Equipment Range Bag. Let's get back up top. And we're going to close this video out, guys. Please make sure you're hitting that subscribe and like button. All the buttons, just smash them all. I don't care. Just figure it out. All the buttons, yeah. just <laughs> as the missus is saying, smash it. So let's get back up top and close the video up. So guys, that is the tabletop review of the Savior Equipment dual pistol bag, dual range bag. This is probably one of my favorite range accessories that I have right now, uh, next to probably like a gun that I like shooting, especially with the GST-9, or this Ruger SR-1911 that's in the bag. But I'm gonna leave a link down below. It's not an affiliate link. I have not talked to Savior Equipment, so this isn't like a like, they sent me this bag, like, yeah, I did get the bag for free, but um, they're affordable. I do recommend them. Compact, you could probably, if you really wanted to, throw this in a backpack. I've done it before. It does take up I'll have a lot of room because, you know, it's kind of a bulky bag when you have it outfitted with your magazines and your pistols and all that stuff. So just keep that in mind. It's not that, you know, it's discreet, which I like too. It's, you look at something like this, you don't know this is there's pistol. This, this could be like a shaving bag or like your toiletry or something like that. Dual purpose when you really think about it. But guys, please check them out. And if you want to pick one of these up and you decide, hey, I'm going to pick it up because I saw this, let them know that you saw this video and you're like, hey, dude, this guy really talked up your bag and I'm picking it up because of that. And just let them know the Shooting Gallery New England sent you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you're tuning in to the podcast every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, probably moving to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check out all the other videos. Stay tuned for the MP 1.0 Pistol Project. I'm gonna see you soon. Stay safe, stay shooting, peace.